to give us a better understanding of what concentration or molarity is, let's do an example. So here's our first example. What if we had 125 grams of sucrose and we want to dissolve that in water so that we have, in the result, a one liter solution of water and sucrose together? What would be the molarity then? And so remember, the molarity by definition, M, molarity, is equal to the ratio of the number of moles of the solute divided by volume in liters of the solution. So we know we're going to end up with one liter of the solution, so that will go in the denominator, but now we need to know the number of moles of sucrose that we have when we have 125 grams of that. So let's find the molar mass of sucrose. So we have 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygens in a single mole of sucrose. Um, I should say 12 moles of carbon, 12 moles of hydrogen, 22 moles, 22 moles of hydrogen, and 11 moles of oxygen in a mole of sucrose. So what would be the molar mass? Well, let's start with that. So we have the molar mass, the, the mass of 12 moles of carbon is equal to 12 times the mass of one mole of carbon, which is 12.01 grams, okay? And then the mass of 22 moles of hydrogen is equal to 12 times 1.008 grams, because that's the molar mass of hydrogen. And then finally, the mass of 11 moles of oxygen is 11 times 16.00 grams. That one I can do without a calculator because that would be 160 plus 16, which would be 176 grams. What about the other? So I better grab a calculator for that. Did I say 12? That should be 22. Ah, let's do it again. 1.008 times 22 equals, that gives us 22.176 grams. And then finally, we have 12 times 12.01. That gives us 144.12, 144.12 grams. So if we add all that together, plus 22.176 and plus 176 equals, that gives us 342 point, uh, we'll call it three grams. So this is the molar mass of sucrose. Since they gave us 125 grams, which is less than that, we end up at less than one mole of sucrose. So the number of moles of sucrose, C12, H22O11, is equal to, well, we have the mass, which is 125 grams of uh, sucrose, divided by the molar mass of sucrose, which is 342.3 grams of C12, H22O11, per mole of C12 H22O11. So now you notice that the grams of sucrose cancels out, and since we're dividing by one over the moles of sucrose, we end up with moles of sucrose, and it's simply going to be the ratio of that. So we take the mass that we have and divide by the molar mass that gives us the number of moles. So let's bring that to the denominator, times 125 equals, looks like we end up with 0 0.365 moles of sucrose. All right, so now we know the number of moles of sucrose that we have and that we end up dissolving in the, solu in the, in the water, so we end up with one liter of solution. So now the molarity is going to be the number of moles divided by the volume, so this is equal to 0 0.365 moles divided by one liter of solution, and so the molarity is 0 0.365 moles per liter. And there you go, that's how you write it. Okay, that's the concentration or the molarity, number of moles per liter of solution. But now, let's say we take the same amount of sucrose and we dissolve it in only enough water to make 225 milliliters of solution. Remember again, we didn't add 225 milliliters of water, we add enough water so that with the sucrose and the water together, you have a solution of 225 milliliters. Now in real life, tell a little secret, I don't think you're gonna be able to, to dissolve 125 grams of sucrose in just this little amount of water. Probably not possible in the real world, but we're just doing it for the example. So here then, for part B, the molarity, which is the concentration, which is 
in M, so we use the letter M to indicate malaria, is equal to the number of moles, which will be the same, 0 0.365 moles, divided by the total solution or the volume of total solution in liters, so 225 milliliters, milli stands for 1 1,000, so convert the liters to be 0 0.225 liters. So in this case, we have 0.365 divided by 0.225 equals, in that case, we have a molarity of 1.62, that would be moles per liter. So that would be the concentration in that solution, it would be the number of sucrose moles, the number of moles of sucrose, per liter solution. Since we put in a smaller amount, only this much, you can see then that the concentration would be much higher. Okay, and that's how we find the concentration or the molarity by dissolving some sort of solute in water to end up with a solution that we can then indicate the concentration or molarity of.